Hello everyone, Shane1288 here with your weekly RuneScape Bite for Monday, May 4th, 2020. And no, not the other May 4th that you are all thinking about. This week is a colossal patch week from Ninja Fixes and Beyond, and we're going to have a look at some of these patch notes. Starting with the Grace of the Elves, two new options have been added while wearing the necklace, which means you can recharge the necklace while skilling. Charge Porter will add one sign of the Porter to the necklace in addition to the existing Charge All Porters option. Three new settings have also been added to the necklace, including Always Warn, which will continue to warn players before charging signs of the Porter. Always Consume will cause Grace of the Elves to automatically consume signs of the Porter until full. Never Consume will never attempt to waste any extra Porter charges and will stop prompting a warning. When the Porter functionality is disabled, the number of charges remaining will show on the debuff bar icon. A filterable chat message has been added to notify the player when their Grace of the Elves reaches zero charges. And lastly, when adding just one Porter to the necklace, players will no longer be asked for confirmation. Stone Spirits have had another look this week, this time on the PVM drop side. Various bosses and slayer monsters have had their Stone Spirits drops rebalanced, and higher level creatures will now drop appropriately high level Stone Spirits. The Ranch Out of Time has also had some changes made that people have been requesting for a long time. The animal buyers in the bank chest are now more accessible. There is now space for a storm barn to be built on the ranch out of time. The building permit can be purchased for 7,500 beans, and to build it, you'll need 15,000 wood, hides, and leaves from the Anachronia base camp to build this storm barn. You do not get another 60 animal spaces, and for all intents and purposes, this is just an interface to the existing storm barn at Manor Farm. Teleporting to the ranch out of time will now land players directly where Great Granny Potterington and the dinosaur buyers are situated. The first to teleport after today's update will still land players at the previous location on the beach. The raptor's chest and outfit has received a fresh coat of paint, bringing it up to modern standards. The chest has been moved from Burthorpe to War's Retreat, and the key has been given combine and observe options, and some text changes to make it easier to use. The rewards have also been reworked to make it much more rewarding, and the basic outfit is now guaranteed, while the advanced outfit is now a permanent override. The chest also uses a reward interface similar to those found on other reward chests. The chance to receive a raptor weapon has been increased from 1 in 200 to 1 in 50, and finally the drops received from the chest have also been slightly reworked. Winding down slowly, we do have some general patch notes as well this week. The generic reward interface will now allow you to withdraw items noted or unnoted. Some of the meats in the Ooglog meat shop have been turned into packs to make it easier for purchase and meats that have always had zero stock have been removed from the shop. Some of these items, namely the packs, now restock on a daily reset instead of a 24-hour timer. Yak hides in the Yantiso shop have been turned into yak hide packs for easier purchase. When the herbicide option to auto-collect herbs is turned on, they'll go straight into the herb bag instead of the backpack. And it doesn't end there. There's actually some very interesting changes for archaeology this week, too. Textures on the Spear of Annihilation and Masterwork Spear of Annihilation have been improved. It's now possible to contribute a single item to a collection through a menu available on the item inside of the collector's interface. The Forge doors inside Warforge will now list all the keys you're missing to open it, as long as you've found at least one of them already. Bad luck mitigation for artifacts has been increased. It will now take the player's last five received artifacts into account when awarding a new one. An additional perk has been added to the archaeology skill capes. While worn, the player receives an additional 1% sprite focus when excavating at a spot with time sprites. The Master Archaeologist outfit also will now grant access to the Fixate ability, which can be accessed from the skilling section of the Magic Spellbook. The Fixate ability can be activated on archaeology excavations to guarantee the type of artifact that will be gathered from that spot. Fixate can be activated three times a day. And finally, last but not least, the one everyone's been waiting for, Chronotes can now be added to and be used from the currency pouch. That's it for the weekly bite. We'll be back this weekend for another full episode of RSBNB Update right here at this YouTube channel. If you want to send us a question for the podcast, pop it off to questions at rsbnb.com or leave us a direct message on Twitter at RSBNB. See you this weekend, everyone.